I've got a Dalmatian mask. <laughs> this ought to be good. I can get it open. Get some other goo off of it. Oh, yep, definitely a Dalmatian. <laughs> Let's see. How do you open this? My granddaughter gave me this for our Christmas in July thing. She drew my name. And I used to have a Dalmatian. Because some of you know my son's a firefighter. He was a captain at age 26. I think he was the youngest one in Texas, maybe ever. And he stayed a captain because he didn't want it to advance anymore. He had to move closer and he didn't want to do that. He liked where he was living. Alrighty. <laughs> I love the nose. Oh, it was better when it was all solid black, but my little nose is peeking through. <laughs> oh, this is funny. I don't have anything planned for today, but you know me, I can chit-chat with the best of them. So, we are just going to wing it. I think this mask is probably 15 minutes, most of them are. Well, if I can read the writing, it's really, 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 really small. I got old people eyes, it's hard to read that. I do have a magnifying glass here somewhere. If I can read how long this is supposed to be. Um, let's see. Do, 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 10 to 20 minutes. That's about what they all are. They've got it in French and Korean and English and Spanish and got every language you could possibly want on there. I was I lived in San Diego, which is like 20 miles from Mexico. And guess what language I took in high school? French. <laughs> that made no sense at all. I'm not sure why I did. I think I always wanted to go to Paris, but now over the years I lost the urge to go to Paris because from what I've heard, the French are very rude to Americans. They don't much care for Americans, so I kind of lost the interest in going to uh, Paris. <laughs> <sighs> And Spanish and Italian are close. I should have taken Spanish because then I could have, you know, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish are all very close to each other. I could have basically mostly understood three different languages. So should have taken Spanish, but I took French in high school and then a year of it in college. I barely passed it in college. All those weird tenses like future pluperfect and all those weird tenses that I still don't understand what they are. That was the worst part was all those strange tenses that they had that we just do past, present, and future pretty much in English. So I had a Dalmatian. His name was Buddy. When we moved to Texas, we bought Buddy. His, his name was his actual name, well, my son was decide because he's a registered, he was trying to decide on his registered name. And so the other dog, or the other dog, my other son and I started calling the dog, like, come here, little buddy, you know. So he ended up being called Buddy, but his true name, you know, teen, you can tell it's a teenage boy pick, was Sir Lone Star Budweiser. <laughs> but everybody called him Buddy. So Buddy, uh, after my son got a job at a fire department about, mm, about an hour from where we lived, because he lived with me initially while he was finishing up his paramedic school and stuff, and then he got a job, and he, he lived in an apartment and couldn't take the dog, so the dog stayed with me and then just pretty much stayed with me. <laughs> 
And then uh, eventually he got sick and had to be put down. He was 12, 13, something like that. But big dogs don't last as long as small dogs. Small dog a lot of times can live, you know, 16, 18, 20 years. But big dogs don't last as long for some reason. And when we lived in California, my sister and I owned a duplex together and we took down the back fence between the two duplexes and just had to be one big backyard and our two dogs would play together and stuff. So when we moved here, Buddy kept breaking out and going across the street and he would literally knock on the door across the street to play with their dog. He'd like scratch at their door until they let him in their backyard to play with their dog. And I would come home from work and then like, there'd be a note on my door, Buddy's over here again. So I'm like, I gotta do something about that. So I went to one of those, um, those, you know, at pet stores where they have the giveaways for dogs. And I ended up getting a, he's, he looked like a yellow lab, but he was part something else. And he had been a ranch dog, and so he wasn't a house dog and wasn't really paid much attention to because he was a ranch dog. And uh, so he was, like, kind of afraid of people. So I used to sit out back and just talk to him, you know, trying to get him to get used to me. And then he got so he'd come up and lick my toe, and then he'd run off. And then he'd come up and lick my knee, and then he'd run off. And then slowly he'd come up and lick my hand and run off. And then eventually he thought it was a lap dog, and he'd climb up in my lap. <laughs> and he, we never quite knew how old he was, but he died before Buddy did. We think he was a few years older. He just peacefully fell asleep under a tree. So I guess that that's, that's a good way to go. I have two different friends that died in their sleep. I guess that's the way to go. If you gotta go, that's a good way to go. But it's hard on the family if they don't know it's coming. I don't know which is be worse. Like having somebody just die suddenly like that in their sleep or, you know, have something wrong with them and die a slow death. Cause my mother had cancer and I know it took a few months for her to die. So that was bad, but we knew it was coming. So I guess they have their pluses and minuses, which way, which way to go. Uh, don't really want to go either way right now. I'm <laughs> want to stick around for a while. <laughs> um, okay, enough with that morbid subject. What else can we talk about? Well, my granddaughter went off to college and she's in an apartment, not an apartment, in a house with three other girls. So they're going to take turns cooking. So I didn't hear much from her last year when she was in college, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to hear from her quite regularly this year because she's going to call me up and ask me how to make stuff because <laughs> I'm kind of a cook in the family. So I'm sure I'll hear from her once every week or two when she's got to do the cooking. She'll be calling me up wanting to know how to make something or another that I make. <laughs> in fact, she's already called me the day she left Maybe it was the next day. I think she left on Friday and she called me on. She might even have been Friday night. I think it was Friday night. She left Friday morning. Friday night she called me and we have a toaster oven. And so, you know, you can heat stuff up good in a toaster oven. Well, she had some leftover French fries and she's like, okay, how do I heat these up now that I don't have a toaster oven? I don't want to do it in the microwave because I'll be all soggy. So I told her, you know, just you know, heat them up in a nonstick skillet, you know, zap them in a little, knock the cold off a little bit in the microwave and put them in a, you know, nonstick skillet and heat them up that way. That's the only way I could think of. We spoil, we're used to using the toaster oven and it does good for reheating stuff and making it crispy. But if you just have a toaster toaster and not a toaster oven, that's not an option. I think they have a air fryer, which one of the girls brought, but I don't think she knew that, didn't know how to use it or anything, but I, do you guys have air fryers? I thought about getting one. I think I would like it, especially one of those ones that's the big one that you can like cook a, cook a whole chicken in, or you can steam and you can fry and you can roast and you can roast and you can, you know, all, do all kinds of things with it. Like a ninja foodie or whatever those things are. 
This just cracks me up, this Dalmatian look. <laughs> the dots are, this, most Dalmatians have little spots, not these giant ones. But I'll take it. I guess they couldn't do little spots. It just looked like freckles. <laughs> well, it's been 11 minutes, so a few more minutes and we'll be done. I told you I wouldn't have any trouble finding anything to talk about. I'm almost at 500. I've been saying that, I know, for weeks. I'm still almost at 500. <laughs> so if you haven't subscribed, please do. Once we get to 500, I've got one of those big USPS boxes full of goodies I'm going to give away for a 500 subscriber giveaway. But I'm not going to do it till I reach 500, and then I'm going to wait a week or so to make sure I stay there because... I got to four ninety nine like three weeks ago, and I'm still, still not back to that because YouTube knocked me down like forty subscribers, and so I've been climbing back up the hill again. <laughs> uh, I don't know why they do that. Why do they pick on us small channels? Pick on the big channels, those ones that have you know half a million or two million or whatever. Pick on them. Leave us little channels alone. <laughs> but almost everybody I've talked to has got the same problem with YouTube's like... And I, one thing, I went and looked, and I subscribed to a lot of channels, and some of them I was like, I haven't seen so-and-so in a long time on my feed. So I went through and looked, and probably at least 50 people I subscribed to, they changed the little bell from you know, filled in to to clear. So that means I don't see their videos. I'm not, you know, don't get those on my feed. So, you know, I kind of out of sight, out of mind. And I've got, and so, because I'm not seeing the videos, I'm not watching the videos. So eventually they just take them away completely. It's like, well, you're not watching this. Well, of course I'm not watching it. You took it away so I can't see them. So I've gone through, and I'm not done, but I've gone through about half of them, and I've turned the little bell back on, so I start seeing their videos, so I can, I try and, I can't watch everybody all the time, but I try and watch everybody at least once every week or two, because that way it at least keeps it active, and the people that respond to me and I respond to them more, you know, I try to watch them like every video, but I can't watch I probably am subscribed to maybe 150, 200 people, so I can't watch everybody's videos all the time. There's just not that much time in the in the world to do it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to do about... I think we talked about this a little before. I'd like to go back to Weight Watchers. I just can't figure out when to do it because, like, almost... It's always in, it's in the mornings, and every morning I'm doing something except Tuesdays, and they don't have it on Tuesdays, except there's one place that has it on Tuesdays, but they're like, like another town over, so it's a ways to go, so I'm not sure I want to go that far. <laughs> but I'm, my weight's creeping back up a little bit. I've gained about five pounds, and I want to go back the other way. I don't want to start creeping back up again. I want to get back down. I don't know how much of that's water weight, though, because it's super hot out. We've been hovering around 100 for the last couple of weeks, so some of that may be water weight. Because I, when it gets really hot like this, I retain a lot of fluid, so I'm going to try taking a diuretic and see what happens cause tomorrow. But I can't take it like on a Sunday because, you know, I got to go to church and I can't be in the bathroom the whole time church is going on. <laughs> so... What is going on? I have a Wee Blessings on the way. Should be here sometime this week. I have a accidentally ordered a D and Co. And it's supposed to be here like right, at, right before Labor Day, 4th, 5th, somewhere around there. So I don't think that's not this coming week. That's the week after. <laughs> And what else is going on? I don't have BoxyCharm anymore, so I don't have that coming. I already got my Luxury Diva. I already got my ice cream. 
I stopped both of the panty ones I was doing. I should be getting my face mask one pretty soon. In fact, it might be at the post office. I need to go look. Because I get that once a month. It's called Baby Face Diaries. I don't know where they got that name, but that's the name of it. And then I get four face masks, Korean face masks a month. And it's like $9.95. So that's not bad. $2.50 each. Alrighty. Let's see. It's been 16 minutes. <laughs> it's it's a person and not a dog. <laughs> Hmm. Feels good. I did a, it's coming up on Tuesday. That's something that'll be fun to watch. I got a, um, a box of goodies from LaTanya. And she sent me some Taste Test Tuesday treats and some face masks and one of the taste test tuesday ones is was had gluten in it so i couldn't try it so i talked my grandson into doing a taste test tuesday so he taste tested three things with me so we did that once before and y'all enjoyed it so levi's back <laughs> taste testing my uh it was um these like they're pure Pure, pure lets or something like that. They're like this round cookie with stuff in the middle. And then there was watermelon flavored um, cotton candy. It was like a big bag that was only 230 calories. I was surprised how few calories was in it, considering it's pure sugar. <laughs> and the other thing was I had already taste tested them, but I had him do it too. Um, some birthday cake. Um, Hershey's Kisses. So, so that's on Tuesday. See what Levi thought. He rated them from one to one to ten scale. So you can see what he thought of them. He's been doing a real good job of like cutting out the sweets and stuff. So most of it was too sweet for him because when you quit eating sugar, and then you have some sugar, it tastes like extra sweet to you because you haven't had sugar in a while. <laughs> I wish I could say I hadn't had sugar in a while. I made some cookies today. They're mostly oatmeal. It's like two cups of oatmeal and one cup of flour. And then, you know, butter and sugar and seasonings and stuff. And then uh, I put a few mini chocolate chips in it. But we decided next time I make them, I'm going to make them with raisins and some protein powder and make them a little healthier. But I didn't make very many because I wasn't sure we'd like them because... He's just discovered he likes oatmeal stuff, so I didn't want to make a bunch and then have him not like them. So I just made a few, and then next time I'll make them, I'll make more, and I'll make them with protein powder and raisins. Or maybe I'll just make a few of those, too, until we get the recipe. Um, so it's perfecto. <laughs> um, anyway, it's been 20 minutes, so... Believe it or not, I managed to chit chat for 20 minutes. That's a shocker, huh? Yeah, not not a shocker. Oh, the lights like the sun's going down, the lights like shining right in my eyes. So that's why I keep squinting because the sun's shining in my eyes. Um well happy Mass Monday. Hope you all have a wonderful week. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. I do Mass Mondays, I do either Fabulous Friends Friday or Fun Fact Friday. I do Taste Test Thir Tuesday. And then in between all that, I do lots of unboxings. That's what my main channel is, is an unboxing channel. I just throw some extra stuff in there just for fun. So happy Monday again. Have a wonderful week. And I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.